Okay, uh, in this session I am going to talk about uh, this 30 days uh, of uh, GMAT master plan and I am going to talk uh, about how to pace your preparation when you are done with official guide, official verbal review and the prep questions. Now this strategy is going to play a very important role for those guys who have done all the official content or who have uh, been through all the official content uh, maybe through my public classes or at home or during the weekends and they want to uh, improve their score and uh, get them uh, get themselves prepared. Okay, I'm going to talk about uh, the prerequisite for this study plan uh, and the schedule of four weeks and how to uh, pace your speed and picking the weak areas and how to do questions on weaker areas and the 700 to 800 band problem selection. Uh, you know what one way is uh, to uh, practice the questions from the official guide, official verbal review and uh, prep. Uh, the next way is to pace yourself because the exam is quite rigorous. You have to uh, be in the exam center for a very long time, four to five hours and uh, it can sometimes uh, uh, demotivate you or uh, uh, make you uh, a little bit weak uh, due to stamina issues. So it's very important that you should uh, uh, pace yourself and make yourself prepared for the exam and give the test in the exam like situations. Okay, this course is uh, an online course on WISIC. Uh, I'll try to uh, add it to my uh, uh, GMAT public course as well as I'll uh, add it in my other courses as well. Uh, this is this video and the supported videos are also uploaded on YouTube so that you can understand more about what's going on and this is something which is post level 3 preparation. So when you are done with all the questions of the official sources then you can move on to uh, this strategy. You can take demo classes uh, if you were to join a paid course, otherwise you can join the public course for free and attend my classes. Uh, the prerequisite for this uh, course or this study plan is uh, you should uh, be done with official guide, official verbal review and the prep question. These are the three things uh, which uh, you should do before you move to uh, this uh, study plan. These questions are done in my public course or uh, can be done in the GMAT primer small group or one-to-one -one sessions whichever you can choose or you can do it uh, at uh, home yourself. So after we, you are done with these uh, three sources then you should move on to this course. Uh, I have three types of public courses running on the WISIG. The first is the free public course then the primer is a small group course containing uh, four or less people and the GMAT one-on-one -on -one, uh, course. So these are the three courses I'm having on Visi. Okay, now uh, to decide what you're going to do in this course, you have to sit down and make a strategy. If you are doing it with me, then I'll help you make that thing for what you're going to do, what you're going to do in the weekdays and uh, during the weekends. So you have to decide a strategy for that. You have to pick the weak areas as soon as possible and do the tough questions in that area. And as you are going through, you should uh, do the analysis of your uh, progress and uh, the questions you are doing wrong if it's a, if it's a particular type of uh, case like a particular type of particular type of sentence correction or a particular type of critical reasoning or areas in quant then you should do the analysis after you give the test when you are through with uh, this part you can bring back to me the tough areas or the questions which you are finding tough or which are giving you trouble and I'll give you more questions on the very same topic so that uh, you can remove your fears and understand that topic. Okay, so we'll be in, in, in the session on the one-on-one -on -one session or in the uh, public course, whichever you are in, I'll try to help you to uh, master the concept. If it's like, uh, if it's a case of uh, idioms in GMAT, uh, uh, verbal sentence correction, then uh, you can come back to me and we can see the 60, 70 famous idioms that are often used or you can, uh, if it's like the area of geometry in the quant, you can bring it to me and I'll give you some hand-picked question in that area. Okay, now uh, another series here is the toughest possible series just to make sure that you lie in the 700 plus category on the GMAT. So it's a collection of tough questions. It also exists on various forums like Beat the GMAT, GMAT Club and all those places. You can just uh, go there and find out the tough problems which people post. Uh, 
the questions in verbal which sometimes people find tough are the bold face question if you find that tough then i'll uh, i'll be taking a special series on the bold face question around 5 or 6 uh, sessions on that and uh, after you do all of them there would be a post mortem analysis of where you are going on it you know preparation is one thing when you are preparing and meditation exam temperament is another thing to get 100% out of you so if two persons have done the very same preparation but one is good at exam temperament one can do uh, you know things on the exam day with which the other person cannot or some person can keep uh, uh, himself more motivated more motivated than the other person so that's a plus so that's another aspect that we are going to generally see in this course so this course makes your uh, study systematic it makes your target achievable it keeps you motivated during the entire time because uh, if you think that you are not able to do a particular type of question on, or an area i'll make sure that uh, you are through with that area and you can uh, virtually solve the toughest question that you can get in that area the classes are highly flexible depending on the course you select the gmat uh, public uh, course the free course the classes are like random so if you miss a class uh, there is no retake so you have to do some things yourself and uh, the interfacing is advanced the using visit where you can uh, check out everything after the class the week one in this course would be uh, explanation of the basic concepts and uh, just to develop an intuition and common sensical issues and to derive some things on on how things go in in a particular way so that would uh, comprise of the week one preparation uh, then it's about application of all these concepts uh, and the pacing the time strategy for the actual test because it's the computer adaptive test the first 10 questions would uh, uh, carry more weightage so you would like to do the first 10 question in a longer time than uh, what time you would be spending in the last 10 question so it's about pacing and it's about diagnosing the weak areas after you give the gmat uh, uh, questions in the exam like uh, environment okay and after each week there would be an analysis on what to do ahead the week 2 comprises of uh, hand pick problems of uh, questions which you were not able to do uh in the earlier exams and the questions which are giving you trouble so it would be practicing two sectional test on those particular areas and again doing an analysis of whether you are able to make it through or not then moving to week 3 it's about uh, the toughest problems that you can get the 700 and 800 band problems and doing uh, the tough things and uh, making sure that you do those tough sentence corrections right the week 4 would be of course of giving more gmat tests uh, getting detailed analysis of the questions you are doing wrong uh, discussing it uh, with me or going back to the basics and finding it out whether uh, and going back to again the study material either provided by the official guide or the manhattan or the gmat forums and things like that so that that would be uh, the week 4 and uh, understanding that the exam is more about exam temperament than just uh, about your preparation and and this is it and if uh, if you are able to keep yourself motivated and continue on this track and complete this uh, small four week course either by yourself or with my help or with the help of your friends then i think you can get a very good score in the gmat so this was about the 30 day strategy which you can follow to just keep your score uh, in the safe havens in the 700 plus domain the the course is quite uh, straight forward i'll upload these all things on my website so that you can download all these presentations and edit them as per your need so i'll upload the source file for more details you can check out my website it's uh, free gregmatclass.com there would be a link uh, nearby this video where uh, you can click and uh, just get enrolled in my free courses or uh, download these presentations